Hey everybody, it's Pam and welcome to the Friday Night All Night of Prayer. Today is January the, well, it, it started midnight, January the 9th. Now we're already into January the 10th, which is Saturday morning. Guys, if this is your first time joining us, I want to thank you for joining us. Not really so much thank you, but you know, guys, you should really um, be happy that you're investing into your own spiritual life, guys, because you're not doing this for me. You're doing this for yourself, you know, and you're preparing yourself so God can use you how he needs to at any given time because the word of God tells us to be instant, be ready in season and out of season, you know, um, but we, we, this is our sixth time doing the all night of prayer. Um, and I started this because, uh, for one, I wanted to hold myself accountable just like we do the Bible readings, but I really felt like, um, I should start doing an all night of prayer, you know, and I decided to make it public just for you guys. Um, so you can stand in agreement if you would like to join in or if you have prayer requests, you know, while I'm praying and while we're praying those that are joining us, um, if you post your requests on the thread that I post every Friday, um, and not only will I pray for them, but other men and women who are joining with us, they can also go to the page and they'll pray for the request as well, you know, so you getting more than just me praying you're getting a few other people praying for your requests as well um if you have a sensitive prayer matter you would like us to pray about send me a personal inbox um either on the uh 90 day bible reading challenge plan page or on my personal profile if you're my friend um so that way um it can stay private and we'll only share those requests well when you send it to me i'll only share that request with the lord um so but guys when you're doing your all night of prayer you guys may have never done one before you guys may have been with us you may be used to doing all night of prayers we do it once a week because yeshua jesus christ he prayed all night long to the father scriptures talk about it you can find that in john um so go back check that out and you can see what happened guys what we want to do we want to go back to the ancient paths of um where our faith began and how the power of god it was just so on the scene like really really i mean it it, it it just couldn't be denied that god was real you know and the believers they were doing what they were supposed to be doing they were seeking the face of god they were praying sound wonders and miracles we're following their lives guys and that's what we need to get back to we need to start doing those first things that even the early church did so we can begin to experience more flow of god's power and his holy spirit in our life you know so we're learning how to submit and surrender more of ourselves to the lord that we may decrease that he may increase you know so um you want to uh, build yourself up in your most holy faith praying in tongues you know while we're doing the all night of prayer because you can only pray in english so much before you run out of things to pray i would encourage you have a prayer book if you have a prayer book this is the one prayers that avail much by jermaine copeland um this prayer book was given to me years ago by my mom see my name is at the bottom pamela murphy you know so i use this um that way different prayers that i may need help with and it's totally uh full of scripture and all the scripture references are there you know so it's a really good help when you need to pray about some things but you don't really know how or know the scripture to back it up um so you have your 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 prayer bible as a uh your prayer book as a help and also first things first you should have your bible you should have your bible with you that way um you can also read your bible during the all night of prayer and actually if you're praying in the holy spirit praying in tongues and your heavenly language praying in tongues you can actually make your mind fruitful by reading the word of god you know so but you can learn about that and uh praying in tongues are really really going to death this book right here the walk of the spirit the walk of power by dave robeson guys and i'm gonna put the link to this in the um in this video if you hit see more you'll be able to actually get the link and you can download the free pdf of this book right from his site you know he put it there free for the believers um if you don't uh, have the funds to actually purchase the hardback it's there you know you can print it out or you can just read the electronic format but it, it is really really good um and it, it it's 
it, it's funny too he's he's really hilarious at least to me you know um he gives a really good breakdown of uh, praying in tongues. There's four different types of tongues that the Bible speaks of. Two for private um, prayer time, prayer ministry, and the other two are for public ministry. You know, and he goes into detail with that, and it's really good. And he gives examples on how God began to use him, and that's began to pray in tongues. How it began, how he began to edify himself by doing it, and what began to happen. You know, so that's really, really good. Very informative. Very, very good read. So I recommend if you don't really understand about praying in tongues or your um your understanding of it is is very little, you know, that's definitely a a good book I would recommend. You know, guys, praying in tongues is one of the keys to the kingdom. See that one of the keys to the kingdom. I love these set of keys. You know, I use them up a couple a couple times when I taught a class. Um but these I like them because they're ancient keys you know so i just like little stuff like this so, so god has given us the keys to the kingdom but guys if we're not using the keys we kind of stay locked out of those promises that he's promised us in his word you know so that's why you must read your word on a daily basis you need to study the scriptures to show yourself and approve workmen unto the lord you know so guys just a uh Real quick video let you know we have started you know we're halfway through i mean not halfway through but we're halfway through the first hour so just a little bit after um midnight it's probably going about 12 uh 40 now so i just uh, like do a beginning video i pray a little bit first and i'll go ahead and shoot the first video real quick and give you an update let you know that we are praying we're praying for your requests and everything and you know if the lord happens to give us anything to share with you you know then we'll do it you know but we didn't come up here to do that you know this is our personal prayer time we're edifying ourselves you don't have to be with us to pray pick your favorite spot in your house um and pray right where you're at we have um somebody actually my sister she been doing all night of prayers with me since we started um last year the beginning of december and my mom is joining her aunt has joined in there's another um young lady she sent me a um uh, inbox she's joined in um it's a lot of people that give prayer requests and everything so we thank god that he's going to begin to move and we always see awesome things happen um as, if you scroll back on the page on the bible reading challenge plan page um and watch some of the videos up there you will see what god has been doing in our life you know as his power is growing more and more you know after each one you know so we're going to also post a thread for praise reports for this week um, so you can share with us what God has been doing in your life as a result of prayer, us praying, you praying, or what he's just been doing in general in your life. You know, we want to see a powerful move of God. And if his people pray and seek his face, God will begin to move. He'll forgive your sins. He'll heal your land. I mean, just awesome things come with that so guys don't take prayer lightly don't take fasting lightly if you're not fasting you need to get it you need to wake yourself up get yourself into the the habit of praying and fasting and you know doing those first things the the basic things that the scriptures speak of you know so and then we begin to see change in our families and in our communities and the nation, you know. So may the Lord be with us um, while we're on this all night of prayer and just speak to us. And as we get into his word and pray, we'll be refreshed and enter into his rest. Um, because the time of refreshing comes from the presence of the Lord. So I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be about halfway through, around about the 3 or 4 o'clock hour. So, all right, guys. Keep praying.